hello guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to overclock the RTX 2060 as you can see on my screen this is the hardware that I'm running right now so if you got the RTX 2060 and uh, any other GPU out there you can follow these steps uh, so I'm gonna show you the best way not like un universal best way but the best way that I, I have found by myself okay so the many people like start doing that they download MSI afterburner as you know we can use this for overclocking so what people start to do is they open this combustor button right here okay MSI combustor you have to download this separate if you don't know I will give everything link in the description okay do not worry about that and uh, simply there like run a stress test and uh, here you can see okay so now this is a little benchmarking stuff going on so uh, people see the values that other people put in their uh, GPUs uh, okay if they will like many people will search same GPUs like RTX 2060 overclocking values or whatever they're gonna search on Google or YouTube so what people do at uh, the core clock these are just two uh, things we have to tune right here so what we are going to do right here no so pre like first of all the people like most of the time they do like they someone told me that put a hundred value right here on the core clock and uh, like 200 on the memory clock okay so they will definitely do this and right now as you could have if you have noticed that previously we are getting around 48 50 fps now it's around 52 and also here is also our clocked like increase oh sorry i i didn't work uh, let me make it 200 okay i'm sorry Edits. Let's enter and here, as you can see, I have enter the value here 200. Okay, now it's 5700, and here is 51 FPS. And if I will increase it to like 150, okay, hit enter, and around I'm gonna go for the 250. That people will see the values and they will direct do this and here now we are hitting around 52 53 FPS now it's uh, it's like also a pretty hard benchmark not that hard but still it's hard okay so now we have as you can see right here we are uh, have increased our the memory clock to 57 51 megahertz and the core clock to 1620 oh sorry it's a memory so here is our sorry core clock is 1800 megahertz so now what I have found that when like previously I was also doing the same thing and uh, what happened that I was able to manage uh, some FPS gain in these benchmarks all right then I moved to games which I was playing like on the time uh, like I'm uh, like I was playing the Far Cry 5 and what happened that when game starts launching it it's like getting crashed every time so that's what the problem that I am facing so what I found the solution for this is that okay uh, I'm not gonna do overclocking on the basis of these benchmarks okay so what I have found is I opened a game and sideways sideways so I'm gonna show you every process and please don't uh, like watch the temperatures because I'm not running my laptop in a turbo mode otherwise it will like interrupt my audio recording a lot because it noise a lot so uh, let me uh, take you to the setup that I'm, I'm gonna show you uh, let me open a game So here on the right side, as you can see, uh, it's a game which is Far Cry New Dawn. So I've completed the Far Cry 5. So right now I have this game. So what I was doing is that on the right side or any side, you can <laughs> open the game. And uh, another side, you have to do overclocking simultaneously. Okay, because you wanted to get the best possible numbers for the core and memory so that they will not give you crash in any game so for me the far cry 5 
uh, like previously was the perfect choice and, uh, and now like that game I don't have that right now installed in the memory so Far Cry New Dawn is a uh, best uh, like game for me to see if my overclocking will stay stable or not so what happened when you do overclocking like this so there is one thing that you will not gonna any mis uh, make any mistake regarding uh, pushing the numbers in your course and memory clock okay so first of all if you are running this kind of GPU like even the 1650 and uh, you want to overclock so definitely I will suggest you to put a value of 100 in the core clock because this will not gonna go anywhere and the memory clock you can directly go to the double like 200 but I will suggest you to like go for like 150 that will a lot safer so when you apply this this will definitely impact right here in the game window and uh, just try to resume the game and check if the if the if the game is stable and gpu is performing good or not so what you have to do then is uh, now the next step is like you don't have to push these limits like directly to 100 to 150 on the core clock and like 150 to 250 or 200 no don't do like this because i know i know that this is not gonna like cause you any problem like uh, like hardware problem out there okay but still i don't want you to like mess a lot with your system so i will only suggest you to just go like small numbers with the core clock i will definitely suggest you to after 100 just increase 10 10 uh, value okay so you can go for like 110 and then apply hit enter apply and for the memory clock you can go at least for 20 uh, so I will if I go for the like 170 okay so let's find out the value so which gonna suit best for us so 170 enter then apply uh, okay so this is uh, working fine for us and uh, there is not any problem if you will push this a lot then this game will definitely get closed and crashed and your graphic driver also get crashed but don't worry about that uh it will get automatically restored and if it will not uh, uh, like a restart will better uh, will work for you do not have to worry about that so the next value we're gonna enter is 110 is fine for it so like previously I have set it to 150, I'm gonna directly go to that, but I will definitely suggest you to go 10, like use lowest possible if you have patience, enough patience. Okay, so for this I'm gonna go for like 240. So here was my previous number, oh 150, 240. So as you can see, it is working fine. There is not any problem any like it is not crashing and everything is fine right now so now i'm gonna increase this a little bit okay 150 now we go for the 160 here and here i'm gonna go just for 250 not more than that now hit enter and then apply okay your game will definitely tell you that <laughs> which number is gonna be enough for you so do not worry about that also so it is working fine there is nothing the game isn't crashed and also graphic driver <laughs> is safer now so now try the next value which is gonna be uh, like i'm gonna go a little scared right now i'm gonna go for the 170 because previously and starting when i got this new one i tried like 170 80 and it was crashed so let's see if this time what will happen 250 now i'm gonna go for the 280 that will be enough uh, no 280 will be a lot more i'm gonna go for the 270 which is okay i think so this will work fine for me 57 70 megahertz as you can see on the msi reader so 170 270 is the value right now we are running and game is okay so now i'm gonna go a little ahead now try for the 180 and uh here is 270 i'm gonna go for the 280 <laughs> not more than that because this time maybe i will crash this there are like a lot of chances 
so let's resume and let's see okay so 50 five seven eight one megahertz like these are a lot big numbers so we have as you if you have noticed then we have like increased uh, like gained a lot of FPS as you can see right here so previously we were running uh, yeah, 6975 so now I'm gonna increase it a little bit so I'm gonna go for like 180 to 185 maybe not more than that and maybe 290 and it will be okay for here so let's see let's see let's see there is no sharing and any kind of effect in the game and uh, it's working fine but as you can see oh yeah is gonna drop guys because I'm really not running it on turbo but it's automatically like boosting up the fans so Okay, 290, 185. I think these look stable for me. So I'm gonna try for the last, uh, not last, let's see where it will appear. This thing gonna be crash. Okay, so let's find it out. 185, I'm gonna go for the 190. 290, I'm gonna go 300. And here, apply, the resume. And we are at 5801 megahertz and uh, the core clock at 2100 megahertz. This is insane. Like seriously, we've gained a lot of FPS. We're gonna gain, but I'm running at, uh, as you can see, it is dropping FPS. I'm running at a windowed mode, so there are some issues when you run games on a windowed mode. So, now let's try a little, push a little further. So 195, I'm gonna go for 195, not more than that for now. And 310, and let's see, I'm gonna, enter and okay resume I think these clock speeds are working fine for me so one time guys I wanna to test out it on a full screen I'm gonna go do all settings let me do this one more one time and see if this will handle this so that I'm not getting wrong about this or not full screen native and hit apply okay 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 guys so i think you uh will notice some kind of tearing kind of effect in the game uh i think it's on display on this camera like external okay so this is what happened when you do like uh what we say beyond limits so game crashed already as you can see this is what's gonna happen and this will not like affect your hardware at least for these values <laughs> now i'm not sure that <laughs> don't push that too hard so you will responsible for your hardware issues so i'm gonna drop it down a little bit i'm gonna go for the 190 right here and uh, 300 will be okay for me maybe so let's try this out and uh, let's open the game and see okay so the value that uh, i was thinking that will work 190 300 is also not working and as you can see this is what gonna happen when you like do overclock your gpu like beyond its limit mainly in these the laptops so oh, what we have to do we have to decrease the value as obvious so we are going to lower down these values like i'm not i'm not gonna go for like 190 now i'm gonna directly wanna move to 160 i think this will be pretty fine for me i'm gonna stay here for 300 so let's try this out if this will work that'd be great otherwise we will definitely lower that down the values so let's open the game and check it out okay guys so we are running these values right now 160 at the core clock and 300 on the memory clock and i think these values are working fine for me so as you can see this game right now is working fine i don't have any problem while running this game and uh, 
you can see right here there is a clock speed like cap to for the GPU uh, 5.8 gigahertz uh, for the like memory memory clock is a 5801 megahertz as you can see right here on the top left corner and uh, this is good the, these are the values which are working fine for me and uh, I hope so this way will definitely help you also to best to get best values for your GPU and you will definitely get the maximum out of out of from your GPU so follow these uh, like tips and uh, also if you find any other value uh, which suits good to you that'd be a lot better I'm not telling you to like uh, like do same values that I did right here as you can see uh, like 160 on the core clock, 300 on the memory. So this may be very like from one person to another, one system to another system. So I hope this way will help you out to overclock your GPU. Just open a game which you really uh, like playing and which you really uh, think that it's kind of resource heavy and also best optimized so try to like overclock like this way so you will definitely get the best out uh, from your GPU and please do not push like over your clock and memory cores clock speeds okay do not put like a lot of values out there so this will otherwise this will definitely crash uh, like crash again and again this will cause some trouble to you okay so this is it for this video guys if you have any question Please comment in the comment section. I will definitely love to reply. And uh, thank you guys for watching this. Please subscribe to the channels, and this will help me a lot. And uh, thank you for watching. Take care for now. Bye bye.